History of Galapagos Our tale begins millions of years ago, as the Nazca tectonic plate slowly drifted over a hot spot in the Earth's crust. This geological dance gave birth to the Galapagos Islands, one by one, through countless volcanic eruptions. The youngest islands, Isabella and Fernandina, are still being shaped by this process, with active volcanoes adding new layers to their rugged landscapes. As the islands emerged from the depths, they were nothing more than barren rocks, devoid of life. But nature, in all its ingenuity, found a way to populate these isolated specks of land. Picture seeds, carried by the wind or floating on the ocean currents, finally finding purchase in the volcanic soil. Imagine intrepid animals, like sea lions, sea turtles, and penguins, braving the vast expanse of the Pacific to reach these shores. And don't forget the lucky few, like reptiles and small mammals, who hitched a ride on floating rafts of vegetation, cast adrift from the mainland. These pioneer species faced an uphill battle for survival in the harsh, unforgiving conditions of the Galapagos. The island's location on the equator might conjure images of lush, tropical paradise, but the reality is far more complex. The cool Humboldt and Cromwell currents that bathe the archipelago create a unique mix of tropical and temperate environments, challenging the adaptability of the newly arrived species. Over time, these plants and animals evolved in isolation, giving rise to an astonishing array of endemic species found nowhere else on Earth. From the giant tortoises that inspired the island's name, Galapago means tortoise in Spanish, to the clever tool-using finches that bear Darwin's name, the Galapagos are a testament to the power of evolution. Speaking of Charles Darwin, no discussion of the Galapagos would be complete without mentioning his groundbreaking visit in 1835. As a young naturalist aboard the HMS Beagle, Darwin spent five weeks exploring the islands, diligently collecting specimens and making keen observations. He marveled at the subtle differences between the mockingbirds and finches found on different islands, planting the seeds of a revolutionary idea in his mind. Years later, back in England, Darwin pieced together his Galapagos observations with his growing understanding of the natural world. In his seminal work, On the Origin of Species, he proposed the theory of evolution by natural selection, forever changing our perception of life on Earth. The Galapagos Islands, with their peculiar menagerie of adapted species, provided the perfect illustration of his groundbreaking ideas. But the history of the Galapagos isn't just about geology and biology, it's also a tale of human exploration, exploitation, and, ultimately, conservation. The islands were first stumbled upon by accident in 1535 by a Spanish bishop named Tomás de Berlanga, who was blown off course while sailing from Panama to Peru. His account of the strange, inhospitable islands sparked intrigue among explorers and pirates alike. Over the centuries, the Galapagos became a sanctuary for an eclectic cast of characters. Pirates like William Dampier and William Ambrosia Cowley used the islands as a hideout and a source of fresh meat, decimating the giant tortoise populations in the process. Whalers, drawn by the rich waters surrounding the archipelago, set up camps on the islands, hunting the gentle giants of the sea and leaving behind goats and pigs that would later wreak havoc on the delicate ecosystem. Even the Ecuadorian government, which officially annexed the Galapagos in 1832, saw the islands as a potential solution to overcrowded prisons on the mainland. A penal colony was established on Isabella Island, where inmates were forced to build a now infamous structure known as the Wall of Tears. This dark chapter in the island's history serves as a stark reminder of the human capacity for cruelty and the importance of protecting these natural wonders. As the 20th century dawned, the scientific community began to recognize the immense value of the Galapagos as a living laboratory for the study of evolution and ecology. Researchers like William Beebe and Julian Huxley championed the cause of conservation, urging the international community to safeguard this priceless treasure. In 1959, 100 years after the publication of On the Origin of Species, the Ecuadorian government established the Galapagos National Park, setting aside 97% of the land area for protection. Today, the Galapagos Islands continue to inspire and educate visitors from around the world. The Charles Darwin Research Station, founded in 1964, serves as a hub for scientific investigation and conservation efforts, working tirelessly to preserve the unique flora and fauna of the archipelago. Ecotourism has become a vital part of the local economy, providing a sustainable alternative to more destructive practices like overfishing and invasive species introduction. However, the challenges facing the Galapagos are far from over. 
climate change, ocean acidification, and the ever-growing pressures of human development pose serious threats to this fragile ecosystem. It is up to all of us, as global citizens, to support the ongoing efforts to protect and preserve this irreplaceable wonder for generations to come. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Galapagos, be sure to hit that like button and share this video with your fellow nature enthusiasts. And don't forget to subscribe to Plane Tick for more awe-inspiring adventures around the globe.